What happened to Vivian Garrett after she disappeared from her comfortable four-bedroom home the night of January 1st? For residents of Abbott's Landing, a small town that nestles up on the Chesapeake Bay and was once the home of Vivian Garrett, the answer is still unclear. One year ago today, Garrett vanished, baffling family members and both local and state police. She said nothing to her children or her husband. Friends say she didn't seem unhappy or panicked. In the media circus that followed in the wake of the investigation, reporters never uncovered a secret lover or a desire to leave her family. But no conclusive physical evidence was ever found. The investigation began on January 4th of the previous year, when a family member alerted police that Garrett had not been seen for three days. Her car, a blue 2005 Nissan Altima, was found abandoned in Willow Creek Park two days later. The disappearance was considered suspicious, since Garrett was said to be a dedicated mother to her four children and had no history of erratic behavior. The woman's husband, biology professor Robert Garrett, was originally arrested a month after her disappearance after a breakdown in his office. In statements to the police, he declared that his wife was gone for good and would never come back. Although Mr. Garrett's responses were often muddled and contradictory, he was released without charge. Abbott's Landing police declined to respond to questions, saying, at this time, we have no information to add to the investigation. Violet sings when she washes the dishes. If I'm drying them, then sometimes I'll harmonize. She'll go down to the river. And it sounds like, as I went down to the river to pray, staying about that good old way. Mom was the worst baker. She nearly burned the house down once because she set the oven to 500 degrees instead of 350. Sometimes I still find black and cookie bits down there. Last February, I came downstairs one morning and all the photos were gone from the fridge. The one of Merle eating ice cream on her first birthday. The one of all of us on Halloween five years back. The one of mom and Crab as a puppy. Like they'd never been there. We have too many onions. I should make something with onions before they go bad. Onion soup? Onions and sausage? Just feed everyone straight onions. Ugh, no one's cleaned the microwave in ages. How do I let it get like this? A family member alerted police that Garrett hadn't been seen in three days. Yeah, that was me. If only he could remember to pay taxes on time. It was sweet of my uncles to send Christmas cards. Things have been a little awkward between them and dad ever since dad was arrested. Vi and I went to live with our uncle Thomas. Merle and Gus went with uncle Elijah. We didn't come back until August. I don't think dad really knows how to thank his brothers for taking us in. There's great great grandma Prue. Well, well, great 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 great. Okay, I don't I don't remember how many grades exactly. Maybe she looks so pissed because no one can ever remember. Or maybe because she has no teeth. No one really eats in here now. 
We mostly just take our plates into the living room and watch game shows. When I have my own dishes, they'll be pale white and always washed and put away. Sometimes I wonder how rich you have to be to eat off your porcelain instead of just putting it in a glass cabinet. A feather? Inside? I like the lighting in here. It always makes my eyes look bright. Like I know something that no one else does. Sometimes Merle catches me staring in the mirror and makes fun of me. Gus needs new shoes every few months, it seems like. His feet are growing faster than dandelions. There are still blood stains there from the time I tripped and hit my head on the front walk. That was 10 years ago. That's Gus's backpack. Argus Robert Garrett. When he was really little, we used to tell him he was adopted, that he'd been bound on an abandoned pirate ship and that the pirate king and queen would come back for him someday. His initials were the clue they'd left. Funny, he's the least pirate-like out of all of us. I told Merle not to eat her snack outside the kitchen. She always gets it everywhere. Great Blue Heron. Scientific name, Ardea Herodias. You know what's strange? The Herodias was the wife of Herod, mother of Salome, the one who asked for John the Baptist's head on a platter. Why do people always link birds and strange women? Hey, Dad. Oh, Lena. I didn't realize you'd come in here. What's going on? I found this feather on the floor. Do you know how it got here? You... what? A swan feather was lying there. Just like that. Maybe there are birds getting into the house. Don't be silly. There'd be plenty of evidence other than a feather if we had a bird infestation. And something as big as a swan. How did it get in? It, it, knocking politely on the back door. That all makes sense, I guess. And you don't think it's foul play? Ugh. Don't mention that to Gus. He's been trying to solve crimes up in his room all morning. <laughs> Something about his, his yogurt being stolen from the fridge. <laughs> in any case, I better get back to my reading. The Cornell Lab of Ornithology just released a study on the mating habits of the northern bobwhite, and I have it right here, open to page one. You know what today is? January 1st. A Saturday. Yes, I know what it is. Do you think she'll come back? If she were coming back, she'd have done it by now. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be harsh. I know you all don't necessarily think that way. She's gone, Lena. And she isn't coming back. How can you be certain? 
because I knew your mother better than anyone. I just know there were some things from her old life that she missed too much. I, I'd, I'd like you to understand, but you wouldn't. Not now. Why not now? I'm 17, Dad. What is it you think I can't handle? You would never believe me. You can't know that until you tell me. No. They ran an article in the paper about it. Did you see it? Oh, no. I, I don't really read the paper so much anymore. Why don't you just recycle it? Your siblings don't need to see that. If that's what you want. Thank you. That's good of you. Don't you think they're old enough to know what people have said about Mom? About us? I'm sure they already know. Their friends at school probably talk about it constantly. Haven't you noticed that they don't have very many friends? Violet can be off-putting. Gus is so quiet, and, and Merle, she's only ten. She has plenty of time to make friends. Maybe you have a point. How was work today? It went fine. The students are still out on Christmas break, so it was just me this morning, entering migration data. We've had 50 of our tagged swans return so far. That's unusual. Far fewer than normal. They look so beautiful out there in the bay, but sad, like they're waiting for something. Yes, I've always thought that. That's why I prefer to track the swan population, and nothing like black-headed gulls or Harris's sparrows. But I'm sure you didn't want to talk to me about sparrows. Are you in the lab so much because it keeps you from thinking about, you know, other stuff? Oh, uh, well, working hard certainly does keep the mind busy. And I've always liked to be busy, you know that. Of course. It's what makes you so good at what you do. But what about us? Lena, I know you mean well, but please understand. This year has been so hard. I'm trying to deal with it the best that I can. Do you see that? You're a father, not just a professor. And I take both roles very seriously. Let's not pick a fight. I'll think about what you said. I'll let you get back to work. Thanks. Oh, oh, before you go, have you seen my phone? I think I've, I've lost it yesterday. Isn't your spare office key still missing, too? Yes, it is, but... Wait, are you trying to say that I misplace things easily? That's exactly what I'm saying. Ah, well, you may have a point. Yes? The blue mug is left over from a trip to Colonial Williamsburg. Dad bought it from one of the gift shops. We used to go every year until Gus threw up on the shoes of a poor guy dressed up as an 18th century candle maker. Mom's best friend found that chair for $10 at a garage sale in Norfolk and drove it all the way here for her 38th birthday. That's how Sasha is. Real loyal, real obstinate. Hmm, looks like someone was watching The Avengers 8, Condiment Man vs. Squirrel Girl. I guess they figured anybody could get a movie after Ant-Man. National Geographic Atlas of the World, Streetwise Realm, Atlas of Cursed Places. 
I don't know where she got them, but Mom collected all these map books, mostly of places she never visited. When I won the Jefferson Book Award last year, UVA gave me the quotable Jefferson. It's like a magic eight ball, but with Thomas Jefferson. Open it up to a random page, and instead of outlook good or not likely, you get our liberty can never be safe but in the hands of the people themselves. Nifty, right? It's locked for a reason, Lena. That's my space. Merle is the one getting all the first place ribbons now. I used to think I was good, but she's the next Missy Franklin, I swear. It's January 1st. The deadline's tonight. All my applications are done. They just have to be submitted. Shouldn't forget about that. This is for the linguistics mini-unit we're doing in my Spanish language class. We were supposed to take a common word and find as many different translations for it in various languages as possible. I chose home. Click your heels three times. I guess it's an open secret that none of us were living with Dad for a while. Oh my god. Vi used to have problems wetting the bed. When she stopped doing it, Mom celebrated by taking us both to get new sheets. Vi picked out these. It's funny, this would be the last pattern she'd pick now. I try to remember to put an instrument case sticker in her stocking every Christmas. Like, real women play the violin. Or, in case of emergency, save the violin first. They're cheesy, but she likes them, I think. Back when people still had Walkmans, Violet used to listen to a CD of Major Parsley's Lonely Livers Club 
every single day. She'd wear headphones, but she'd turn up the volume so loud that I could hear every word. I think I probably still know all of them. I got through this one in Spanish. Arabic? Well, that's still work in progress. Mom never stopped us from reading any of her books. Which was why I first discovered what sex was from reading Harun al-Rashid and the Three Slave Girls in 1001 Arabian Nights. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, it's our Celtic horoscopes. Mom had us all get these done a few years ago. She was very into them for a while. I think horoscopes are a pile of goose poop. These freaked me out when I was little. The women are so sad, but in such similar ways. All that dark wavy hair and their big shocked eyes and the way they're looking so intently at something. I haven't seen Dad sleep here for months. This bed might as well be a part of an Ikea ad for all the use it gets. 